Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss yet another method for booking and reducing the elevation of points from the observed staff reading. Today I am going to cover the method which is known as rise and fall method. Now some of the important points which we need to keep in mind or we need to understand before we go into solving a problem by using rise and fall method some the the few of the points are here height of the instrument is not calculated in this particular method earlier previous in the previous method height and height of the instrument method height of the instrument was calculated however in this particular problem or method we are, we don't need to calculate the height of the instrument now the staff readings of two consecutive points are compared and the difference in level of the two points is found out in this particular method the staff readings of each consecutive or two consecutive points are compared and we need to find out the difference in level of the two points is found out then the rise or fall is indicated by the difference of the two consecutive staff readings after finding out the difference we will get an indication of whether it is a rise or fall as the staff reading at a point may be smaller or greater than the preceding one the staff reading at a particular point may be smaller or may be greater than the preceding one by observing this we will know the rise or the fall for two consecutive points now let us see <clears throat> an example which is uh, similar to the one which I have used during the explanation of height of the instrument method let's see the question the following staff readings were observed successively with a level the instrument having been moved after third sixth and eighth readings enter the reading in a page of level book and calculate the reduced levels of the points if the first reading were was taken with a staff held at a benchmark of 432.384 meter now here we have an idea about what will be our first reading and the last reading the first reading will obviously a backside and the last reading that is the tenth reading will be our foresight so now in the question also it is mentioned that after the third sixth and the eighth reading uh, the instrument has been moved so the third sixth and the eighth reading will be the last reading or the foresight which was taken just before the movement of the instrument so the third sixth and the eighth reading will be foresight and correspondingly the fourth the seventh and the ninth reading will be our backside now let us see uh, in the points here the first reading will be backside third reading will be foresight fourth reading will be foresight sixth reading will be foresight seventh reading will be backside eighth reading will be foresight ninth reading will be backside then tenth reading will be our foresight and all the other readings will be intermediate side now this is a level uh, page of a level book or the field book here the columns are divided in such a way that first column is for the stations second is for the back side then intermediate side then fore side rise fall reduce level <clears throat> and remarks so in the uh, from the observed staff reading we will try to input the values in the level book or the field book the first reading will be our back side then the second reading will be our intermediate side that is 1.606 then the next reading or the third reading will be our foresight then after that the instrument is shifted and again the next reading will be our back side then after that an intermediate side then after that a foresight of 1.262 then the instrument was shifted and the next reading is our back side after that one more reading for 
four side then the instrument was shifted and the next reading will be our back side that is 1.044 then the last reading will be our four side now we will see whether it is rise or fall by observing observe, by observation in between the two consecutive readings so the first two consecutive readings that is 2.228 and 1.606 there is a difference between this both if we subtract 1.606 from 2.228 the value comes up will be a positive value so it will be in the rise column so now if we observe 2.228 and 1.606 we can also see that 1.606 is reduced uh, is the value of the 1.606 is slightly smaller than the previous value of 2.228 so we can say that so we can say that the value of the staff reading which was taken uh, the reading which was taken at uh, the intermediate side 1.606 and the back side 2.226 we can see that uh, the reading which was taken at 2.228 was slightly lower and then the reading which was taken in intermediate side of 1.606 which was taken at slightly higher elevation on the ground so now we move on to the next step in the next step we will see between the two consecutive points the two consecutive points between 1.606 and 0 0.988 if we see if we subtract 0 0.988 from 1.606 the value comes up will be a positive value so it will be in the column for rise now we will see the next consecutive two values for the staff reading that is 2.090 and 2.864 here the value in 2.864 is slightly greater than the value that is 2.090 so the intermediate side that is 2.864 is taken on a relatively higher or elevated place so now if we subtract 2.864 from 2.090 we will get a value which is negative so it will fall under it will uh, it will be placed under the column for fall that is 0 0.744 now if we see the next two consecutive values that is 2.864 and 1.262 we see that again the value is reducing so if we subtract 1.262 from 2.864 it will come to a value of 1.602 which is a positive value so it is coming in the column for rise so the rise value is 1.602 next we will see the two consecutive staff reading that is 0 0.062 and 1.982 now if we see the value is becoming greater in 0. Point, greater than 0. 0.602 which is 1.982 1.982 is greater than 0. 0.062 so if we subtract 1.982 from 0. 0.062 it will come to a value of 1.380 which is a negative value and it will come in the place of fall so the next consecutive values that we are going to take is 1.044 and 2.684 2.684 is slightly greater than 1.044 so if we subtract 2.684 from 1.044 the value comes will be coming will be negative so it will come in the column for fall so we have calculated the rise value and the fall value between each 
consecutive staff rating. Now we will see the reduced level. So in the first place, the reduced level was taken from a benchmark of 432.388. So the reduced value is already given or we have we know the reduced value here for the first station. When we come to the next station, we have to either subtract or add the fall value or the rise value to the previous reduced level value. So the previous reduced level value is 432.384. So in the next station, it is coming to a rise of 0.622. Now simply add up 432.384 with 0.622. It will come to a value of reduced level 433.006. So we got the reduced level for station 2. Now in station 3, we have to see whether it is rising or falling. So it is a rise. So we will add 0 0.618 to 0 0.618 with 433.006. It will come to a reduced level value of 433.624. Now we know the reduced level value for station 3. Now we go to the station 4. In station 4, it is a fall which is occurring. So now just subtract the fall value from the reduced level of the previous station. We will get a value of 432.85. Next station 5, it is occurring a rise. So now reduced level 432.85 plus 1.602 will give you a value of 434.452 which is the reduced level in case of station 5. Now for station 6, there is again fall. So subtract 1.380 from the reduced level value of 434.452. You will get a reduced level value as 433.072 in case of station 6. Now for the station 7, again there is a fall. So subtract 1.640 from 433.072. 072 you will get a value of 431.432 as the reduced level in case of station 6 now we have find out all the reduced level so let us see what is the summation of the back side the summation or before going to the summation part let's see whether where are the turning point 1 2 and 3 how many turning points are there the back side and the foresight when the where when there is a point where both the backside and the foresight are measured or observed that particular point is called turning point one so in case of station three it is one turning point then in case of station five also both the backside and the foresight is observed so it is turning point two and in case of six station six both the backside and foresight is observed so it is your turning point two three since the remark column is over. Now we will see what is the summation of the backside. The summation of the backside is 5.964 and the summation for the foresight is 6.916. Now again the summation for the rise values are, is 2.842. Then the summation for fall value is 3.794. So we will check whether all the calculation for for reduced level is correct or not in the next step so now the arithmetic check goes like this the summation for the foresight minus the summation for the back side should be equal to first rl minus last rl equals to summation of the fall minus rise so what is the value of summation of the foresight minus summation of the back side summation of the foresight minus summation of the back side is equals to 6.916 minus 5.6964 which is from the table it comes to a value of 0 0.952 then the next part first rl minus last rl comes to a 432.384 minus 431.432 this is from the table it comes to a value of 0 0.952 next is the fall 
summation fall minus summation rise summation of the fall 3.794 minus 2.4842 which is from the table which comes up to be 0 0.952 so now all the three values are equal so we can say that our calculation for the reduced level is correct hence it is okay thank you everyone i'll come up with next video see you next time